What's the best advice you would give a new dad? I asked that question to five college football coaches from BYU, Oklahoma State, Ohio State, the University of Texas, and the University of Miami. Their answers are coming up. What's up? It's John Finch with The Father Effect. I made a movie and a book called The Father Effect, and it was in that journey that I learned so much about how I could become a better dad. The goal of this channel is to help you become a better dad too through the advice and stories of others. You can check out the free movie, The Father Effect, at the link in the upper right hand corner. And you can watch interviews with other coaches at the link, The Father Effect Show, in the description below. If you think of another dad who would be interested in watching this video, please be sure to share it with them. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified every week when we release a new video. Let me know what your advice to a new dad would be by leaving a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Now here's the coaches answering the question, what's the best advice you would give a new dad? If you've got a dad, new father sitting in front of you, and he says, hey coach, give me one piece of advice that's gonna be a game changer, what would you tell him? Just one? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, you can give more than one if you want. Okay. But... <laughs> okay. Good. Um, I'd say love your wife, um, have a great relationship with your wife and don't stop dating her. My wife and I still, uh, not now obviously, but we spend plenty of time together, but we go out a lot. Um, we, we go off on our own a couple of times a year. We'll have a weekend or a week away. And um, my kids know what it looks like to be to be raised in a home where mom and dad love each other and, and they enjoy being in each other's company. And, you know, we've said several times during this whole pandemic, man, this would be tough if we didn't like each other. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> I feel I feel blessed to be in a, in a marriage. We're coming up on 28 years this summer. Um, where, where my wife and I still live, love each other and love being around each other. Um, and so I, I'd start with that because I think it gives them, I hope it gives them uh, a certain amount of stability in life and, and uh, gives them a picture of what a marriage is supposed to look like. And really that's where family starts. And then I would just um, reiterate some of the things that we just talked about in terms of being willing to do what it takes to be a good dad at the expense of what it might take to be a good dentist or coach um, because there are lots of people who can do, do those things well uh, but at the end of it all the relationship that you have with your kids is gonna is gonna be infinitely more important um, and then uh, I, I think don't don't be afraid um, to be consistent in your discipline as long as they know that you love them. And an old coach, when I was at Auburn, Pat Guy used to be a coach there, great man, great coach. He used to come by my office every other week or so, and he'd sit down and put his boot stuff on the desk and talk with me. And one of the things he used to say all the time is you can coach them just as hard as you're willing to love them. And I think that's true in coaching. I think it's true in parenting too. I think we can be demanding and and expect the best of them because nobody expects more of my kids in this whole world than I do, as long as they know that nobody loves them more than I do either. Don't be afraid to make a mistake. We all make mistakes. We do. You know, I made. I have made more mistakes than you know. I can. I, I would. I would want to count. You know. I would hate to be judged by my poorest day. You know, I mean, I can think about I can think about some 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 mistakes that I've made, some poor decisions that I've made, and and I and I would hate to be judged by that alone, right? Uh, the biggest thing is is that you know if you make a mistake with your kids, right? It's okay to say you're sorry. It's okay to say I was wrong, man. Just be honest about it and say, look, I screwed that up. I'm sorry. I apologize. I love you more than anything, and I, I screwed up, and you know. I'll make it up to you, but you know, I think the honesty part of that and being showing that you're accountable, you know, that's that's an important lesson for for kids to see. Time 
time, time. That's all they want. Don't worry about buying them anything. You could get a cardboard box. <laughs> and you and him, if you're spending time with him, you'll have you'll find a way that that'll be the most memorable time in his life with you and him in a cardboard box. He'll find something. But that just time, just time. Put your phone down, uh, which I got to tell myself every single day. You're not going to get that time back ever. And just time. Spend time with him. Make sure your kids know you. Make sure your kids know you love them unconditionally. Unconditionally. I didn't say you had to like them all the time, <laughs> but you gotta love them. And but they have to know that you love them, um, and not because that's what you say, but you have to show that. You know, words are nothing. Words mean absolutely nothing. Show it, and and how you show that is up to you. Again, it's again it goes back to that leveraging your influence, but. Um, let your kids know every day that you that you love them unconditionally. Let them know every day you're going to push them to be elite. You're going to push them to, to do things that 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 they can't see and they can't see for themselves. They don't know what's out there. They they don't know what's out here. We do as adults. We know, and 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 so push them to be elite. Let them know you love them, um, and listen. I think that. And I can do so much better, but I would say that if we just listen to our kids, they'll tell us a lot. They'll tell us a lot. If we're not always fast to fix and fast to answer, if we just listen to them, we, we can gain a lot of information that, 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 uh, that we can assist our kids with with being great. Yeah, I, I think the game changer would, would be Love your wife. Show, show your kids, show your kids that you love your wife. You're affectionate with your wife. You're you go out of your way to do things for your wife because then they they see that, and then they want to in, emulate that, and then ultimately their relationship at the end, you know, when they look to start having their family and they're looking for their spouses, they're gonna look, you know, they're gonna try to emulate what they've seen, and so. Um, you know, I think that would be one of the biggest things, um, you know, and the other thing is just is make time, you know, make time. There's everybody's got hobbies, you know, but as your family grows and your time constraints grow, then some of your hobbies just need to go to the wayside because um, that at the end of the, at the end of the run, that's that's the most important thing. You know, it's, it's not going to matter about, you know, how many jobs, you know, where you worked or what kind of car you drove or what kind of house you had or whatever, that's not going to matter.